guys! So today's the day, the day that I finally start playing Corpse Party. Now, I'm honestly really scared to play this game, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> if this game is as brutal as the death scenes, then I'm screwed. <laughs> But one of my subscribers was just super awesome and so nice in gifting me with a copy of this game on Steam, so thank you Lovestruck, we'll be linking their uh, channel down in the description below. Also, this is the first gameplay video that I will be editing and recording with OBS, which is something that is brand new to me, so bear with me if it doesn't turn out perfect. I'm gonna fool around with it a little bit more and see where we go, but uh, anyways, enough talking. Let's start the game. Okay, so there we go, I've got my... Uh... Set up. How do you guys like it? I've got my little anime avatar down below there that I made as well. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, the start button. Chapter 1, new game. There we go. Okay, so view the chapter 1 opening. Probably should, even though it might be a long thing. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. Okay. We're gonna move this over here like so. Oh god. Sinister music is appropriate. <laughs> Sachi is my pride and joy. And that, I believe, is blood. <laughs> oh god. She'd do anything for me. Okay. Oh, I can't even read that. I don't think she would even recognize me. Any Why is it moving? <laughs> But I still love her with all my heart. Can you not blink? Because it freaks me the hell out. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. Okay, so it was a rainy evening just after school. Or after school, just like this one. Oh, pixel person. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died. Okay, that was rather, the, the, the rather abrupt. Cannot speak today. It was rather abrupt. She just tumbled downstairs and died. Oh, fun. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. And it wasn't long after that that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here. On the site of our own Kisaragi Academy. Oh, Lord. Some say that teacher still has no idea that she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after classes have come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. Oh, good Lord. Go away. Just go away, man. Terrifying. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock, you'll hear from the blackness. That was a fail of a knock, but whatever. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Ah, Yarg from some idiot named Satoshi. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Oh, okay. Oh, look, there's the pixel. Pixel people! Satoshi, oog. Lovely. Ayumi says it's just Thunder Mochita. Huh. <laughs> Mochita. That's kind of a funny sounding last name. Oh, I remember her from the death scenes. Naomi, I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. And then Yoshiki. <laughs> Satoshi, come on, stop laughing. And then these two people who I have never seen. No, wait, actually, I think I recognize him from the death scenes. Mayu and Morishigi, I think that's how you say it. Haha, -ha. <laughs> most amusing. Okay. Satoshi, it was just bad timing, that's all. <laughs> Hayumi, you always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mochida. It's so rewarding. Oh no, Satoshi. Hmm, whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Frickin' sadistic, Hayumi. Seiko, no! 
I remember her. I can't even speak. Dear Lord, I remember her. Vividly. Oh, God. Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eek! Save me! Heh. <laughs> Naomi. Okay, okay. Let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up, It'll be 7 o'clock, till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time now, would you? Oh, God. Go away. That doorbell. Kill it. Burn it. Set it on fire. Too late. No. Morishigi. My, it's really 7 already? And the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. <laughs> And then Mayu says, didn't you bring an umbrella, Shig? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you. That would be lovely. Oh, God. <laughs> Naomi, what? A blackout, huh? Oh, Lord. It means something scary is gonna come. No, it can't be. Who's knocking at the door? <laughs> oh, go away! Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? Oh, for God's sakes. No, knocking, go away. Go away, go away. I need dot dot dot. Naomi, are they gone? <laughs> hey, Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? <laughs> what? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs. One inch. <laughs> well, Yoshiki's like such an ass before he gets scared. And when he gets scared, he's like, I'm just gonna like sacrifice uh, Satoshi and make him go check. I ain't getting uh, killed by anybody. Satoshi, I'm scared too, you know. Oh, God. Oh, what's happening now? Wait, do I control him now? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, so I have to go and check the door. <sighs> Frick. Oh, God. No! Somebody open the door. Go away, go away! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children! Oh, God. Oh, my God, it's a teacher. Miss Shisido, gotcha. I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? You are a troll. That is just mean. She looks like a freaking Pokemon trainer, like, or Nurse Joy kind of status Pokemon trainer. Pokemon nurse, I meant to say. <laughs> Satoshi. Miss Yui. Everyone's just like, sigh of relief. Freaking teachers trolling us. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee, did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shisido, you've heard the story too? <laughs> if it's that old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. After all, oh god, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it comes to the seven wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Though I can't take credit for the blackout. That was just good fortune. Oh, okay. Anyway, Mochita. Y yes? I ran into a rather adorable individual. Oh my god. No. If it's who I think it is, I'm gonna, like, die. Okay, so uh, I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hole who has co uh, who's come to see you. Satoshi's like, hey? Come on in. Oh my... Damn it, Yuka. I knew it was Yuka. Oh, man. Flashbacks, flashbacks. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yuka, what are you doing here? Big brother! Onichan! <laughs> okay, so it seems like Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka has, uh, little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. Oh, yeah. I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. 
I can't, like, mimic a cute, like, little girl laugh. It just doesn't <laughs> come out of my vocal cords that way. It doesn't come out of my mouth that way. Anyways. Off topic. Naomi, is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Oh, I thought she was going to say, like, forgetful or something. Aww. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. Hehehe. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help, too. Oh, she's nice. Eat, you will? Okay, thanks. All right, looks like we've got two extra pairs of hands now. She's roping the teacher into this, isn't she? So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, all right, collective from everybody. Hee <laughs> hee. Guess you're... Ha ha! I called it. Guess you're roping me into this too, huh? Well, yeah, you come and freaking troll us and then expect to just stand there and do nothing. Like, that's just, like, useless. Miss Shisito. Okay, everybody, nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Don't tell them what to do, okay? There are times where you just you need to sleep in to recharge, especially when you're a night owl like me. I stay up till 6.30 in the morning and then go to bed and then wake up at, like, noon. I have problems with insomnia, yes, but that's another topic for a different video. <laughs> okay, so today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival, so do give yourselves a hand. You guys worked hard, and it really paid off. And you even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you all. So, have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. When she says coffee milk, it's probably a Japanese thing, but when she says coffee milk, does she mean, like, the coffee, like, creamer stuff that you put in coffee, or is it, like, a coffee-flavored milk? I don't know. I'm... I'm arguing the semantics of this too much, so... Anyways. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda lukewarm, huh? My stomach's so gurgly. I don't think milk would sit well with me right now. These are from your fight with that vending machine, I'll bet. You must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. Oh my god, that's amazing. Crap. You saw that, huh? That's amazing. Miss Yui, thank you! And then these two other people. Thank you, thanks! <laughs> You're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. Okay, so she seems kind of down for some odd reason. Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. Oh, okay, so that's why she's down is because she's transferring. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. There we go. It's kind of convincing. <laughs> okay, so Seiko. Won't be the same around here without you, Suzumi. So her name is Suzumi Suzumoto. Am I getting that right? If not, okay. Uh, Morishiki dot dot dot. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure to come and visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? <laughs> yes, apparently you can, Yoshiki. Apparently people are, you know, fine with you being somewhat of an ass and they're okay with you coming to visit, so yes, you can go as well. <laughs> Naomi dot dot dot. She's like, common sense, bra. Don't you have it? Thank you. All of you. And then Yuka's, like, asking her brother, Hey, brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Okay. I'm sorry, but the teacher just said that she was transferring to a new school. Yuka, friggin', like, listen when people are talking. Yeah. Today's culture festival was her last day. Aw, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it, though, unfortunately. Okay. Hey, Miss Shisito, before we go... Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, 
do you mind if we try something? It's called Sachiko Ever After. I don't want to play any part in this because I know that Sachiko is a bad name in the Corpus Party universe, and I really just know that some, like, creepy stuff's going to happen, but I have no choice. I have to keep going, so. Who's Sachiko? And what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Oh, okay, so she has a fascination with the occult. Good to know. Eh, kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Okay. Or we'll always be friends anyway. That's the gist of it. Ooh, it's a charm? <laughs> yep, that's all Shinozaki had to say. Suzumoto is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Everyone's like, yeah, sure, collective, whatever. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm! Oh my god. <laughs> sure, whatever. Yoshiki's just like, fine with it, but he's got like the most like lackluster response, but whatever. Morishiki, you too? Ah, uh, yes. Looks like the eyes have it. The floor is yours, Shinozaki. Great. Okay. Everybody, gather in a circle around this paper Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it up a little. Just make sure you don't stop partway through. You have to say it one time for every person present. Oh, okay, so that's why it's nine. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. And that is a tiny doll. Like, tiny-ass doll. All right. Let's get started. Everyone remember the charm? Sachiko, we beg of you. Nine times. Oh, Lord. Ready? Begin. Ichinos. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, God. So we're all repeating it nine times. Something just flashed. I don't know what that was, but that was not a good sign. Exhale. Everyone said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. <laughs> if we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay. Now, everybody, reach toward the paper doll. All right. And grab hold of it anywhere you can. Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, lightning and thunder is just not a good sign in this game. Nicely done, everyone. Now just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it in your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Oh, Lord. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Damn right, Seiko, don't lose your piece. Thank you, Shinozaki. Aw. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. That's cute. Even though the fact that it was a frickin' Sachiko charm... It's just, like, freaky, because I know... Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna stop talking and continue. Miss Shisito, well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am! Oh, and... What the heck's going on now? Gasp! Yeah, an earthquake? Oh, no. Eek! Oh, my God, the music changing! What the hell? This is like, holy crap big! Oh no. Big brother! I'm scared! Yuka, take my hand! 
Everyone, stay calm. Get under the desk until it passes. Oh no. This is making me kind of motion sick though, the fact that it's like shaking, but oh well. Hurry! Not much I can do about it, it's part of the game. Damn it. I can't see a thing. Okay, why did he call for Naomi first though? I don't understand because if my sister was there and I was her big brother, I would totally call for Yuka first, but that's just me. Naomi, where are you? Satoshi! Maybe they're an item, I don't know. But I would have called for Yuka first because she's my sister. So, that's just me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, dot dot dot. Who am I playing as now? Oh, oh, Naomi. Ouch! Ooh, ow, my leg. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. Oh wow, the room got really messed up. Eh? It's so dark. I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? To be fair though, it looks different. So... What's going on? Oh, I can't move her just yet. I thought I could. What the hell is this place? Oh, now I can move her. Okay, so... Oh. Where do I want to go, though, is the question. Oh, let's go... Like so... Oh! Oh, I see somebody! Who is it? Is that... Se oh, it's freaking Seiko. Seiko! Seiko! This isn't good. Okay, so the question being is how to... Oh, right, there's a door over here. So I can just go down here and go around to get to her. So we're gonna go here... Oh! And I tripped. <laughs> that really hurt. No doubt it really hurt. You just friggin' trip, dude. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Okay, so let's go and see what's up with Seiko. Is she dead? Is she alive? I have no idea. Seiko! Seiko! Se- Thank goodness. She's still breathing. Oh, okay, so she's alive. Okay, cool. Seiko! Come on, Seiko! Wake up! <sighs> Oh. Eh? Naomi? What's up? I love how she gets up, like, so casually. Like, what's up? I just had, like, a nap as we were having a friggin' earthquake in our classroom. Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? God, this chick is friggin' clueless. Uh, where... Where are we? What's going on? And then that's what I'd like to know. It's my attempt at making sound effects. Failing. Oh, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of uh, what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well... This is clearly a school building. Well, yeah, hello. <laughs> Don't the desks seem unusually small to you, though? There seems to be more desks than there was, uh, originally. Like an el- Oh, no! Like an elementary school. Oh, no. God damn it. <sighs> An elementary school? It can't be, can it? Oh, jeez. Oh no. Mm. What is it? The printout on the wall. It says, Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Oh, for God's sakes. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Yes, we know this. It was talked about in the beginning of the game, and you're friggin' repeating it anyways. Oh god! What's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends and Miss Yui? Yeah, speaking of them, where the heck did they go? And then Seiko needs to, like, take a friggin' chill bell. Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Yeah, because Naomi's like, hey, I'm gonna slap you if you, like, don't calm the frick down. 
Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Oh man. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to, which I agree. If I was Naomi, I wouldn't want to be in there any longer than I had to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? Well, you can walk out of the room, so there's something. I'm not sure. But there might be an entranceway or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then. First step is to leave this room, which is going to be pretty friggin' easy. We've got to keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably not just the two of us in here. Okay. The others have to be around somewhere, right? I mean, unless the charm decided to be really mean to them and just send the two of them, which would be kind of hilarious in, like, a sick and twisted way. But, anyways. Yeah, and if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So, in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Okay, so what the heck is this now? I have a floating eye in the bottom left-hand corner of the little row of people. Oh, character introductions. Okay. Direct the eye towards any character and uh, press the action key, so I'm assuming that's enter, to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit to the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Okay. So let's start up here with him. Oh yeah. So Satoshi Mochida, age 17. Uh, okay, so student at Kisaragi Academy Senior High, class 2-9. Fairly average, but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open which complements his general sensitivity towards others and uh, makes him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is, coinc eh, consequently rather, the only person whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Okay, so they're like an item or something, I swear to God. Speaking of her, let's go to her next, actually. Naomi Nakashima, age 16. So she's another student in the... Uh, Kisaragi Academy, Senior High, Class 2-9, and a classmate of Satoshi since Junior High. Frequently greets Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. Uh, you're just being a tease now. Way to go. Having lost her father a year back, or a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Cool. Okay. I think this is Seiko. Yes, Seiko. Seiko Shinohara, age 16, a free spirit. She often says or does things that take others by surprise. Though she's also easily forgiven due to her genuinely good nature. Okay, so she says random crap and then people are like, okay, this is just Seiko being Seiko. And then they just kind of deal with it. 
Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Oh, wow. Seiko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Well, that's cute. Nice, right, so... Yuka Mochida, age 14. Just reading about Yuka, I feel really, really bad that she got dragged into this, because the only reason that she got dragged into this is because she freaking brought her forgetful-ass brother his umbrella, so I just feel really bad for Yuka. Satoshi's little sister. Though she's an 8th grader at Kisaragi Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. In the Mochita household, Yuka's always been the princess. Oh, lovely. Generally getting her way, and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, uh, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older and braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble, I would assume. Okay, so we're gonna go for... Nah, we'll go for this one, that's... why not. Ayumi Shinozaki, age 17. So this is the occult chick. Or, the class rep as well, I think. The appointed representative of Kisaragi High, class 29, yep. Often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. Sadistic much. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. Lovely. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. Okay, so she's like a closeted, like, scaredy cat, pretty much. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear induced state. Oh, lovely. Okay, two more we got. Yoshiki Kisanuma, age 17. Okay, so what I just realized here is Mayu and Morishigi are not in this character introduction, so something is up with them. I just noticed that. Case okay, so another student at the academy, same class as all these other people. Often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Okay, so tough exterior, soft interior. Uh, although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. Okay, so that's good to know. So he favors the two of them. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Okay. And the teacher, yes, Miss Yui Shiseido, age 23. An 11th grade English teacher at Kisaragi Senior High School. Okay, so, oh, just started this semester after passing her teaching exam. So, just started the semester and this happens to her? Oh, I just, I feel for her too. And is eager to make an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. So she also serves as a teacher's assistant, okay, during homeroom for class 2-9. Okay, so that's why they know her so well. And really seems to have connected with the students there. Yeah, okay. When she's in charge, all eyes are on her, always. Okay, so my little floating eyeball has introduced me to all the characters, and now we're gonna go out and continue the play. Yes, return the game. Okay. Come on, Naomi, let's go! Okay. Alright, so I can wander- okay, so I'm just gonna, like, fiddle for a minute, because if I have two characters, I'm playing as Naomi, but I also have Seiko. Is there, like, any way, like, Wazd or something that I can, like, um, no. Oh, I can also use Wazd as moving, though. Oh, okay, so X apparently is my little, you know, menu bar. So there's Naomi and Seiko, and they both got their HP of 30 each. Vic okay, what's with victims? Oh, probably people who've died. Lovely. Suspend. Tools. Okay, so I can pick stuff up, apparently. So we're gonna close that. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move, because I usually- Whoa, God! Eep. I usually get confused by Wazd, so we're just gonna- You know, actually we're gonna explore a little bit first. Uh, hey, Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh, yeah. I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you. Yes, please. Yas. Okay. Acquired loose board. Let's get out of here. Okay. Cool story. Oh, crap. Ooh, is there any way that... Ooh, you know what? 
I could probably put that board down and jump, well, jump or walk over this step. I bet you anything. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Hey, Naomi, what about that loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? Hm, I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Let's try it. Okay, so the loose board has been set in place. Yas! Cool. Okay, so I should not walk across this multiple times just in case it does break. We're gonna try going in here. Okay. Oh, it got darker. Oh. Someone's trying to say, help me, go away. No, go away. Huh, you say something, Seiko? Hmm? It wasn't you. I definitely felt the presence of some kind. Okay. And I can't go up there, so we're gonna go back this way. Uh, where's the other... Oh, there's another door right here. Sick. We'll go in here. Classroom 2A. And the music just went away. This is terrifying. Okay. Oh god. There's like bones. Ow, what's wrong, Naomi? L look over there. Aren't those bones like people bones? Okay, no, that's gross. That is so freaking gross. Oh jeez. Seiko's going to scream again. But what? Why? Why is there a dead person here? But wait. Let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Oh god, do I have to go over them? Is something gonna jump out of me if I go over there? Ah, crap. They really are somebody's bones. No! Seiko's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Seiko! You, too. Oh god, what is this? Ah! Eep! Okay, so I know from the anime realm that... If it's a blue fire, then it's probably some sort of soul or something. You two are new victims, are you not? A, g a ghost? Well, wh who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined, just like you. Okay, so here we go. So I get to decide what I want to ask. I don't want to ask where is here, because in my mind, I'm like, okay, we kind of know where we are. We're at this freaking old creepy-ass elementary school, so I'm going to ask confined. Confined? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. This school exists in a reality all its own, cut off from the world you know. So why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into this school. Sinless innocents, one after another, all trapped in here. Doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Who are they? This is a cursed, multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence, a whole piled on top of one another. Created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Lovely. Closed space, or perhaps closed spaces. You, and we as well, are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. Okay, so the rest of them did get transferred here, or transported, whatever. What? Does that mean... Everybody else is here, too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in this school, too? I don't know the exact number. But I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my god, that's such good news! Naomi, they're here! We're not alone! And she doesn't seem too pleased about it, for some odd reason. Maybe she just didn't thought, I don't know. That means Mochi does here too. I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. Oh fun, thanks for that. They're definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space, or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is 
nigh. What? Escape is near, I'm going to say. Escape is near impossible. But at least you'll be able to die together. Oh. Oh god, is there no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they, and why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors, nor our means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space. And that alone is a faith worth fighting for. Fate worth fighting for. Fate, goddammit, fate. Not faith. <laughs> Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Oh god, who's us? And the door just opened. Go away. Go away. No. Go away. Bye. And there's another freaking spirit. No. Oh, that light went out. What the heck? Let <laughs> Naomi run. We have to get out of here now. Oh, okay. Freaking run. Why are you not running? Oh. Okay, so I don't have to control. So just run without me controlling you. <sighs> Uh, are you all right, Seiko? Y yeah. But what the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Just confirming that she's not crazy. Yeah, and we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Okay, so now I can control them again. Okay, so this is kind of a dumb thing for me to do, but... Just in case there's any items in here, I'm going to wander into this room. Oh, there's a candle. And there's stuff on the blackboard now. What the heck is that? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? What the heck is it, anyways? Some weird, like, smudge markings. I don't even know. Let's go see what's up with this candle. Maybe I can use it for light. Huh? Was there always a candle here? I don't think so, but doesn't it look awfully familiar. Oh, it's a save point! Okay. Good. So we're gonna leave this room, and you know what? I've been playing this for 46 minutes, so I think I'm going to stop the playthrough here. This has been episode one of Corpse Party. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you guys like my videos. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys! I'm back! So I know I just said goodbye and you guys have reached the end card and you're at the end of the video, but I totally forgot to give a shout out to my buddy Rory uh, for the last few gameplay videos that I've made. Uh, that includes Yandere Simulator, Five Nights at Freddy's, things like that. He has allowed me to borrow his Fraps recording software, which honestly, if I didn't have it, those videos wouldn't exist. So thank you so much, Rory. I do appreciate uh, you allowing me to use your uh, software, so thank you for that. Also, I'm going to be putting his channel somewhere on the end card here, the one with the, the arrow pointing next to it. So please go and check out his channel if you guys want to watch, uh, you know, gameplay videos that uh, aren't from a complete noob like myself. But uh, anyways, I'm going to stop babbling for now. Thank you again, Rory. Thank you again for everybody for watching. Big thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, I'm going to shut up now. Bye, guys. <laughs>